That was difficult. Yeah, it is. How, how'd that go for you all today? Well, it's, you know, some, some guys, you know, you, they may, you know, they may see the writing on the wall, but it's really hard when you have a competitive camp and you got, uh, you got to make decisions on guys that have really done everything we asked them to do. But unfortunately, you know, we, we had to cut down today by four o'clock. So, uh, you know, Terry and I talked to every person as they go through there. Those are not easy discussions, but uh, we'll always everything we do here with with dignity. How long do those conversations? Depends on who. We have an open door policy, and we're, we're going to always have a conversation with everybody. No, I just wasn't sure it was like one of those like things, you know, when people get like go in the corporate world, it's like an HR like script, like whether it's that, like that or if it's. No, again, you know, I'm sure that you guys can go pull up some clips of hard knocks and some good reality television, but we try to have a real decent conversation. Coach, you all were the, I guess, the quote unquote Turks where y'all spread the took the news to them and they wanted to give them that kind of exit interview. Oh, look, I mean, it's, it's a tough profession that we all signed up for, and none of us are going to do this forever, um, but you could still have some class and dignity. So the way, you know, you go about it, and they're, they're tough conversations, but it's part of the, it's an unfortunate part of this business. Getting some of the safety is that? Well, well, there's a couple guys we're trying to cross train. Um, no different than the old line, you know, depending on who's up on game day. Uh, you got guys that can play multiple spots when you only get, got 48 guys up. And if you want to run multiple personnel packages, which we do, you got to be able to cross train guys. So uh, we'll do that with a couple different guys. Yesterday, that he felt like week one, like week one against New Orleans was his target date. You got to say, does that line up with what, how you guys feel about it? Or? I'll keep those internal, but I'm glad Isaiah feels that way. Looking ahead to the joint practices, how important is that for you guys to get that in? And how do you kind of like pinpoint, right, the Jets, when you get the, the schedule, you know, that's the team you want to do it against? Well, I think a lot of a lot of those conversations, I mean, the league's got their scheduling process with, with the preseason, uh, and that's a hard job. It's just logistically, you know, you just think about the amount of concerts or the United at our stadium, and then think about all the other stadiums around the league, and you definitely see concerts coming back to, to stadiums and – so the, the logistical challenge for the league, uh, that they do a nice job with that. So you try to have some conversations. If we get to pair up, would you got to work together? Um, so fortunately, you know, Robert and I talked months ago, and, it, and, and we were able to, to get this done. No different than Doug Peterson when we practice against Jacksonville next week. So a lot of it is scheduling, and then having a some kind of relationship with the other staff. How important is it to have those practices at this point in camp? I think it helps. Um, Again, what you're trying to get out of it. I mean, you know, it's you have the preseason where you're competing against other people, and then you get to practice against somebody. If it's a certain scheme you kind of want to practice against, it may be different than yours. That makes sense, and you try to get that done too. What are conversations? Because every coach I've ever talked to when you're doing joint practices, you kind of script things out, you figure everything out. Sure. What are conversations like with Robert and with Doug and kind of putting that together? Yeah, same thing. Just um, I think we're pretty cooperative here, and and. Especially when you're going to somebody else's place, you know, say, hey, here's, here's what you were thinking. Okay, well, how do you guys do it? They send you something over. That's great. We'll, we'll, we'll show up and, and practice. Uh, I don't try to micromanage as somebody's guest. You know, if you invite me to your house, I'm not going to sit there and complain about um, what kind of beer you serve or you know, lack there of good food. So. It sounds like you have experience with that. No, I'm just saying, I just, <laughs> not to stereotype you, Mike, but that's what it <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, wow. Wow. I know you've asked a lot about this. Uh, but, you know, when you open camp, you said, you know, three and five spots in the offensive line are open. Do you feel like you've made progress in being able to determine who that starting point is going to be? In yeah, I think we have, certainly. And that's it's playing itself out right now. I guess. Uh, do you like where this team is kind of at at this point? You got a preseason game out of the way, practice back at the bench yesterday. Yeah. And just where do you kind of feel like this team is at? Do you like the progression so far? I do. Um, you know, this is different. You know, these are kind of as your the schedules change a lot, right? You start the preseason games. We had something different last night. Turn around, come out in the afternoon practice. Um, pretty short turnaround. Want to see guys compete. It was competitive, especially up front today, which you like to see. And so I was proud of our guys. It's never going to be perfect. But the, these guys have the right mindset and uh, came with the right attitude and approach today. So that's good to see. But then we got plenty of stuff to work on. Are you worried 
Is he from D Alpha? D Alpha that's kind yeah. of maybe stood out to sure. you in the last um, week. Obviously, you guys see the splash plays, but his approach to the job, uh, very, very serious minded approach. You know, he came up a different route, went to Tuscum, went to the CFL. Um, you know, he signed a contract with us, and since he signed that contract, all he's done is work, whether it's it's here or, you know, obviously he's doing stuff away from the building too, and I appreciate his approach, and you're seeing some of it, that hard work pay off for him. You talked before about how, you know, don't necessarily pay attention to the splash, but he's maybe able to, yeah. you, you missed no, the three that he part. Part. Yeah. Is it like that or is this more consistent? Well, it's consistent. I mean, I think when they start to add up, like a guy may make, you know, a splash play, it's really a sack, and the quarterback tries to extend it in practice and throws it up, and it's, you know, you try to blow the whistle and he throws it late, and the guy ends up catching it. But he's making real plays, and then obviously he may want to Detroit. I thought he made a good, pretty good play last night. Um, again, not perfect, but I appreciate his approach, and and that's what you like to have. You have good competition all across the board. Guys who have that kind of non-conventional route—is there something that those guys have in common? I'm thinking also of a guy like Derek Bernhardt, you know, who just like they they Bernie. have a different path. Yeah, Bernie. Yeah, yeah. yeah Bernie. Uh, <laughs> Publicist is working full time. Told him I asked him I asked him if his last name was Kardashian earlier too, but um, certainly they may have a different perspective. You know, thankful for the opportunity and they don't take it for granted. Coach, so, I, what, last question. Yeah, far away. So, Drake's not out here, but I mean, what you kind of liked about the rest of this wide receiver room, of course, like you, you expect Drake to be a big impact on this team, but to see these other guys be able to step up. Yeah, okay, you need you need a lot of guys. I mean, it's I know certain guys get a lot of attention whether they're a high pick. Um, you know, fantasy, you know, people that get all obsessed with stats, but there's, it takes 11 on every play to make something go. Uh, offense, special teams, defense. So I, I, I like our, where our team's at and the way these guys work and compete.